I am so excited to do this video. Ever since I got this boat, I've been wanting to come out here and do this camping trip. So I'm out here on the Whaley. You guys probably haven't seen this boat probably over a year, but it's still here and I don't plan on selling it. You can see all the crab pots. I've got a couple rods over here as well. I got all my tent, sleeping bag, insulator right behind you in a backpack. So first thing I'm gonna do is boat over to a secluded beach, find a camp spot, set up camp. Once I find a good spot, I'm gonna come back out, drop all these crab pots. So I've got this herring, I've got some bacon and squid, and I've also got some old rockfish carcasses, all from last year, all the rockfish that I've saved over the years. And those are going in the crab pots. I should be able to pull up a Dungeness crab or two. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get a halibut and the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the mouth of this bay, park the boat, hike out a mile or two, and go for rockfish from shore. And that's because you cannot target rockfish right now from a boat, so I've gotta do it from shore. I'm not 100% sure what the technicalities are, whether or not you can have a rockfish on the boat if you caught it on land, but I'm gonna have video evidence of any fish I catch, so that's the plan. And it should be a very exciting, fun camping trip Got a couple cooking ideas set up, so let's go find our camp spot and uh, set up camp. Let's do this. I'm trying to find a camping spot, right? And I'm going closer to the mouth of the bay, which goes directly into the ocean. But now, the only problem is, the closer I get to the mouth of the bay, the stronger the current is. Just take a look at this. All that, it's current. And it's ripping. So I think my best bet is to go back about a mile. And there was a cove in there and that's way more protected from the current than this because if I'm sleeping at night, I'm planning to have my boat out in the water connected to a rope anchored up and I don't want to wake up with my boat drifted away into the ocean. Like it's just a, like my motor is off and I'm drifting fast so it's not a good idea. I'm going to head back and park the boat in the cove and then get out here and start fishing. Yeah, look at this. I mean, that beach looks really nice over there, though. Damn. Dang, this might not be a good idea, but usually when I do some things like this, it's usually never a good idea anyway. So let's try to go over to this beach. Even though it's kind of close to the mouth, that is a little cove and the sand goes high enough where I don't have to worry about the tide rising five feet and washing me out. Tide is on the rise right now, and all of this you can see that it's not been washed away by the waves. So I know at high tide, this place will still be dry. Now, before the tide comes in too fast, I'm going to get this boat secured before it drifts away on me. And in here is my anchor. That's what I'm going to use tonight. <laughs> is that going to really hold? I don't know. I'll, put, I'll probably put it on the rocks later, but that should be good enough for now. You guys have any tips on anchoring? Because this is literally the first time I've ever anchored a boat. 
and I'm not sure the correct way to do it. I know there's three or four different types of anchors. My plan originally was to have the boat out in the water, anchored, and then I would have a main line coming onto shore tied around a tree so I could pull the boat back into me. But I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave the boat like that, except put the anchor on the rocks over there. I just got to watch the tide. I don't know, hopefully it all works out. And another thing, I forgot my VHF radio. Oops. Always one thing, huh? It's a great backpacking backpack. I brought this on a lot of backpacking trips up in the country for trout and stuff. So once I get this loaded down with my insulator and sleeping bag, I really think that's going to be heavy enough to keep it. Not anticipating any wind today or tonight or tomorrow for that matter. So I really don't think that this is going to need stakes to keep it down, but just to be safe, I, I probably should. Look how clear it is, y'all. I saw a couple of rock crabs on the way out here. Well, I was going to drop everything in the bay here, but I'm so close to the mouth of the bay into the ocean that I think I'm just gonna go out into the ocean and drop a pot there. I have a feeling the crabs, there's a better chance to get them out there. And I got my life jacket on just in case. I guess I should attach the kill cord too, why not? Man, being safe, that's a first. All right. Well, I wanted to come out here because this pot has a weight on it. My other two pots don't have a weight on it. So this should be able to hold bottom a lot better, especially since it's out here in the ocean. Hope I don't lose it. Hopefully it touches bottom. Still dropping, still dropping, still dropping, still dropping. I'm losing line, I'm losing line, y'all. All right, there's bottom. All right. One pot out here, I'm gonna let this one soak till five o'clock at least. It's one o'clock right now. So we'll go back in the bay and drop these two and then we'll get some rockfish, hopefully. All right, this looks pretty good, 35 feet. Let's drop the second one. The original purple buoy. I think I can remember where that is. Now, last one. I think we can get some Dungeness crab almost certain we'll get some rock crab at least. So right now I'm cruising in towards these rocks and I can see where it's really deep. I can see where it's shallow. I can even see where their fish are. And I don't know anything in the rule book saying you can't scout something out with a boat and then fish from shore and catch them. All I know is that the season from boat fishing for rockfish is closed until about April or May. And that's all I know. Other than that, I know rock fishing from shore is open all year round. There's a fish down there at the bottom. See that at 15 feet? It's about as simple as you can get right here. High low rig, two ounce weight, piece of herring that I got from the bay. Actually, Carlos gave it to me. Thank you, Carlos. Whatever fish are in here, I feel like they're not going to be that big. You know, I am in the bay. I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully I get something. Not really working over here. Going to have to move soon. There's a channel here, which is actually kind of deep. It's probably about five feet four feet when the water is up like this, but my plan is when the water recedes, I'm gonna cross over and then climb up onto that rock, and then I should be able to fish on the other side. Just real quick, get up here before the next set comes in. Okay, now I can climb up here. Got my herring in my hand, and hopefully I don't see my boat drifting by a little bit later. Uh, I don't know, uh, 
it was worth a shot. Woo! But I think our time is best spent somewhere else. So let's get out of here. Before we really get soaked. Back in business. Let's go check crab pot or two. See if we got anything. Right there, baby. All right, let's do it, man. Let's get lucky. Let's get some crab. I see a big thing of seaweed or something. Oh, I got some seaweed. Oh my God, what the hell is this? I got a freaking log. No, I got a, another, somebody's old buoy. Look, what the hell? What the hell is this, dude? Can't even pull that one up, that one's stuck. Any crab in here? Oh, nice, dude. There's one keeper dungy. Some rock crab. All right, hell yeah. Let's just double check this dungy though. But it looks like it's a keeper. Might be close actually. That's a keeper. I know I don't like to keep females, but I'm gonna put him on the side for now. Put her on the side for now. If that's a keeper, then this definitely is. That's a male. For show, sure. hell yeah. Keeper, woo! All right, that's a decent spot. I can put it, drop it back down there. Now here's a nice rock crab. Check that out. That thing is a beast. Woo! Man, I'll just dump them all out. Hell yeah, dude. All right, female rock crab, don't need her. Another female rock crab, don't need her. Another female rock crab, don't need her. Another female rock crab. Oh, don't throw out the net. Don't eat her. Nice big rock crab. I will take that one. I will toss this female back. Your lucky day. Your brother rock crab saved you. Man, I could drop this right back down here, huh? That was not bad. Do an overnight soak right here. Actually, right, I'm going to set this right now and we will check it overnight. So, I'm going to drop her down. Put her forward. I was, I was kind of iffy about going out into the ocean right now because earlier I was feeling kind of seasick, but this just renewed my spirits. Oh, yeah. All right, so far it feels kind of heavy, but who knows, right? Well, we got enough for dinner. And tomorrow is just all extra to bring home. We got anything? No dungies, just rock crab. Damn. Well, that's still okay. So I'm really feeling good about that next one, about the one out in the ocean. I really feel like that could have maybe three, four, maybe even five nice dungies. So this is something different that I do compared to a lot of other people. I got the rope tied here only on one side. So when it lays down, it lays down like that. And it's so simple to tie. And at the same time, you lift up the crab, they all fall down and I, I don't know, I like it, it works for me. So, drop her down. Got some new herring in that one. I'm saving the rest of the bait for the one out there. I'm just trolling so I can keep the line nice and untangled. All right, y'all. So the swells definitely are a lot bigger out there. Probably a good four feet at least. In here, it's like, what? Half a foot or less. But let's go check that one. Let's go check that one out there. Seriously, I've not been having much luck. I mean, I've been out so many times and the, the waves and the wind and the swell, it's just been really bad these past two, three months. I haven't had too many opportunities. And when I have, I just haven't had any luck. So I'm very sorry about the lack of uploads. I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Hopefully this is the start of something new. Whether or not I drop this back here, is all determined whether or not there's some crab in this. I can't tell right now. It doesn't feel that heavy. But I think this one has the biggest chance of having stuff in it because we're out in the ocean right now. We're not, oh, we're not in the bay. Come on, baby. What do we got here? A big old crab, a couple of them. Here it is. Oh, okay, okay. All right, where's my knife? I, I zip tied this shut because man, I know it's not really a problem right now. It's more at the beginning of the season, but poachers are just horrible. What do we got here? Let's check them out. Woo! 100% keeper. Don't even have to measure. That's a good one. 
one. This one is close. It's a male, but I'm almost certain it's a keeper. Oh, definitely over six and a quarter. How about this one? That's a female. And we're not keeping females today. That's a keeper too, though. Another female. Don't eat her. Uh, male rock crab. Don't eat them. Another female rock crab. Don't eat her. Uh, I guess that's it. Two. Two? That's it? I guess so. Well, oh, here's another. That's a male rock crab. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. All right, let's rebate real quick before this motion sickness takes over. Didn't take anything today. I feel it coming on a little bit already. I'm rocking around, but that's all right. Hell yeah. That's enough for me. That right there, that's enough for me tonight. Well, maybe, maybe I'll have two. So here's the thing. Right now it's a 3.95 high tide and later at 6 a.m. it's going up to a 6.16 high tide. So it raises about two and a quarter feet. Uh, that's a lot of water movement and after that it drops down to a 0.4. So it drops six feet from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. Now I'm just worried that the boat is going to get washed up here at 5 a.m. and then when it drops I'll be stuck with the boat way up high. So the best thing for me to do is take my tent, pack up, and go to a spot deeper in the bay away from the mouth just so it's a lot more calm. I think that's the best thing to do no matter how much I want to eat those Dungeness crab right now. Let's play it safe and get set up here before it gets dark. Big improvement. I feel a lot more comfortable over here. Well, I think I'm gonna fill this bucket full of water and put all the crabs that I'm not going to eat in it just so they can stay alive. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook the big legs and the claw, of course, and the body. I'll throw that guy in there. So while those rock crab cook, I'm gonna do what I originally had planned coming out here. I'm gonna keep the boat in the water and I'm gonna set this anchor just, just here. You know, it's still, it's still about three, three and a half foot high tide right now. And later on I don't you know the current's not strong here it's nowhere like it was near the mouth so I'm going to set this out here I've got another long rope that I'm going to tie to the front and I'm going to tie this rope to the tree next to my tent I'm not worried at all there's no current here whatsoever Ooh, there's some bait dude holy moly hey yo oh no dude oh are you kidding me are you kidding me Cause I have my cast net, dude. Oh, dude, no freaking way. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? If I can get some herring right now, I could have herring for dinner too. Oh, dude, I got a cast net right here. Bro, oh, bro. What is this? There's something out there. All right, let me see if I can get out far enough for them. 
Dude, they're all right in front of me. Holy crap. If this is a herring spawn, this would be insane, y'all. Bro, okay, watch. I see some out there. Watch this. Did I get any? The throw was good. What did I get? Anything? No, not on that pole. Dude. Oh, come on. Y'all see that? Oh, dude. Oh, I see him busting over there. Bro. Oh, damn, dude. I'm about to get me some herring, yo. Dude, I'm about to go in my boat over there or something. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Come on, bring him over here. Please, please, please. One time. Dude, dude they're right there. They're right there. Oh, my God, that crab smells really good. And I bet you tomorrow morning in here, there's going to be herring. I bet you, I bet you, we'll see tomorrow morning. I'm gonna enjoy this meal right now. It's been a long day without eating any food. It's so cold that my hands can't feel this boiling water. All right, baby, next ones. Dude, this is gonna be so good. I haven't eaten all day. You know, some fresh rock crab. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. That's good. That's really good. With the salt water. When you cook crab and you cook it in salt water, that's the perfect consistency of salt to water ratio. It's just natural and it's perfect. Oh man, that tastes like drinking some chicken broth or something. Wow, that's good. Y'all see that? That's the rock crab claw. But when I turn it over, look how thin it is. That's the rock crab claw. So there's not much meat in this one. He must have molted recently, but damn, is it good. I want to finish this meal and then maybe it'll be morning. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a bunch of herring to show you guys. Otherwise, thanks for watching so far. I'll see you in the morning. You hear that freaking, you hear that? Dude, that's a frog. You hear that? Fro is that a frog? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. You hear that? Dude, maybe I can catch a frog. I need some frogs, dude. Bro. You hear that? Dude, I'm gonna get him right now. I was not expecting it to be this cold this morning. There's frost all over my tent. And man, eating five crabs in a row in one meal, that's uh, not the way to go. I gotta find some miner's lettuce or something next time. Mix it up, have at least two different things to eat. Whew. Sun's finally rising. It's about 6.30. I'm gonna let my sleeping bag my tent dry off because there's a lot of dew and mist on it. And uh, after that, I'm gonna go check out those crab pots. The tide's dropping really fast right now. So the current is going to be ripping. The only thing I'm afraid of is either the crab pots got walked out into the ocean or the buoys are being pulled under by the current and they're underwater. So I don't know, we'll find out when we get out there. Trying to navigate it real slow. I don't know why the current's just ripping right here, but if I can get past this, it looks smooth. All right, y'all, coming up on the pot. Let's see if this is the one that's going to produce, or maybe the only one I found. You know, I think the other ones, the buoys got washed under under the water. So the only way for me to get those is wait until till low tide later, where it's slack and there's no current. One, two. I'll be happy with two. All right, let's set our expectations low two crab for an overnight soak. That'll be fine with me. Here it is. Okay, there's a color. Ah, oh, man. One keeper. Dang, that's it. Maybe two. Let's go back in with this and then we'll dump them out when we're inside. Damn. 
Nowhere to be seen at the moment. I'm gonna search around for another half hour and that's about it. If you were interested in these Dungeness Crab t-shirts I made, they're special edition. You only find them at fishermanslife.net. Just came out. Dungeness Crab designed by my friend Trong. All right, y'all. Damn, two crab and a crab meal. That wasn't too bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Man, y'all won't believe this. I ended the video earlier, but I waited an extra hour for the slack tide and slack tide and I went out and looked for them and and I just gave up I was like man I can't I can't can't find them it's time to go making a run and I see the purple buoy right here like just take a look at this and 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 then you'll understand how the current will bring a buoy down do you guys see it look at that like the water is completely covering it you see it and now it's basically slack tide. So, you know, when the, <laughs> when, when the current's ripping, there's no way in hell anybody's gonna see this. Yeah, it's snagged on something, dude. Oh my God, what are the chances of that? Oh, did I free it? Did I free it? Did I get it? Oh, well. I didn't lose a crab pot at least, got one back, no dungies, just like I thought, all the bait has been eaten. But that's better than nothing. Hey, I'll chalk that up as a win, even though I lost one. All right, well, better than nothing. Oh, there's the other one. There's the other one right there. What the hell? Hell yeah. <laughs> what the hell, dude? All right. Ridiculous. Can't tell. No, it's still snagged on the floor. All right, there. I think I got it out of the sand. No, not quite. Come on, baby. Get out of there. Come on, baby. Ah. Ah. All right, I think I got it up. No, not yet. Ah. Now this, I got to be sure that it doesn't wrap around my leg. That's for sure. That would be scary. Ooh. Oh, oh, there goes the top. Here's the pot. I learned this in Alaska. I'm gonna put this under here. If this doesn't work, well. There goes the pot. Something's gonna give. trying to do is get it up. I may have. Yes, yes, yes. And that's how they get anchors up in Alaska. They just use their motor and just pull that thing up with a with a balloon. I think I got it, man. Tell me I got it, please. Yeah, baby. Hey, no crab. That's exactly what I thought, but I didn't lose a pot. I'll take that as a win. That's a huge win. All right, lesson learned. Don't drop your pots in the mouth of a bay where the current is ripping with no weight on the pots, with no weight on the doors. Lesson learned, move on, learn from it, and then do it right the next time. As always, thanks for watching. And we got it just in time before my buoy filled with water. Also another lesson, get better buoys. Woo, hell yeah.